Alright, we're gonna try out the new component Remote XY in Visuino. First you have to have an account on the remote doc, uh, remotexy.com uh, and uh, when logged in there you can go to the editor. Here you're gonna lay out the components you're gonna need. We're gonna try with a slider and a switch for the, for the moment. And uh, we're gonna ta uh, take a say that one test and we're going to make a token create token whatever the device name you want to call it ESP something yada yada this token is gonna show up on uh, some uh, a few places in the editor over here and in the Visvino so first here to config and paste in the the token we have to choose what way to connect we're gonna connect to the cloud server via the Wemos D1 R2 uh, with the onboard Wi-Fi chip and when we're done that we're gonna see a token over here that's gonna paste in the token you can find it over here you can go in over here and paste that one like so you don't do not need to make an SSID over here and password over there. That is going to be configured in Visvino, so you don't have to care about that. Now, there's one thing to remember, and that is when you take the components and put in the editor, they're going to stop stuck on top or beneath each other. You can change that with forward one or to the back or to the front to back one just to make them uh, show on on top of each other but but it's more than just how it looks it's how it's gonna con communicate to the Visvino because when we go into Visvino now we're gonna choose the correct Arduino I'm gonna use Wemos and we're gonna add the component remote XY so when I add the components over here the order I stack them in here I'm gonna choose a switch and a slider just as we did over here it's a slider and a switch not a button it's a switch and uh, when you start putting them in it's gonna go from top to bottom over here but in the editor when you put them there they're gonna show on top okay I'm gonna take that one away and delete it so the one on top is the same as the one latest add over here so this is on top and this is on top now they can communicate to each other but if I take this one to the back everything's gonna be crossed over so remember that this is on top everything's fine save uh, if you do some changes it's gonna be necessary for you to upload the code in Visuino it's not enough to just change over here because the code generated is going to be changed as soon as you stack them above or underneath each other okay save go back to Visino we have a slider on top even if it looks like it's on bottom uh, and if I have the remote XY component marked I have a config field and I have a protocol the elements we just look at, looked at uh, with sw switch and a slider. Okay, protocol. This is the way how it's gonna connect to the remote XY. It's gonna be through cloud service, like so. Now we got another connection over here. This one is gonna be connected to the socket on the Wemos. We don't have that one yet. We're gonna add, add it. But before we do that, we're going to have to add the token. I talked about it. It's over here. It's the same one, copy. 
and go to Visvino and paste. Okay, that's one thing. Uh, we don't need a password, we're gonna close that one. The config field is found in here. Get source code and scroll down a little bit in between these brackets or whatever you call it. Cop that one. That text is going into the config over here. Paste. OK. Now all that is set. Now we have to connect it to the socket and we have to uh, um, connect it to the pins or in this case I'm gonna use packet just to show what's happening. The order in here doesn't matter, it's just to make it pretty. So connect this digital one to the packet and the analog to the packet and we're gonna have to create a socket. To do that we need to connect it to the Wi-Fi. Mark the board, go into modules, Wi-Fi and connect to access point. Add the one, type in the SSID my very secret SSID and my very secret password. Okay, close that one. Now we're gonna take a look at the modules Wi-Fi again. Modules Wi-Fi and there is sockets. Now we are going to use the TCP IP client, not the server, not the UDP socket, it's a TCP IP client. And the neat part here, we don't have to configure anything. We don't have to type in the host or IP or anything over here. Not not while we are using the server on the internet. If you do it on over the Wi-Fi, it's a totally different ballgame. I'm gonna close that one. Now I have a socket over here. Connect these two. And I'm gonna have to make the packet component visible and that should be it. Let's see, I have a Wi-Fi connection, I have a socket, I have packets present stuff and I have the config field and the elements order is slider on top, remember the re reversed order um, and over here we have that one is gonna be on top, yes, and we have, uh, let's see, we just have to upload the code. Alright, uploaded, close that one, and let's see, now we have everything on the Visuino side done, now we have the phone to fix. We need the token, copy it and go into your phone. I'm going to add a new device. It is going to be connected to the cloud server and this is an old token I think, just in case. Yes, and OK, and connect. Now we have, let's see, I need to connect it to the packet over here as well to see all the little things. Okay, let's see if it works. This should move that one. Yay, it works. And this one should turn on the LED. Yay, it does. So if the order is reversed, this should turn on the light if it's reversed and this one is gonna make the gauge go f uh, to the one and to the zero. If that happens you could 
simplest way to, to change that is just to go into the order over here and change the layer move that one down there you're gonna have to if, if you have a lot of components and uh, make some changes every now and then that is going to happen to you so you just go in and take a look in the packet manager and see where the value shows up if you don't have that in the packet and just directly connected the pins it's gonna be it might be hard to to figure out where uh, why it isn't working as as supposed uh, but just remember the top one is fur further down okay the first one you add is gonna be in the background the second is gonna be on top and so on so that's it now we got values you can do everything from the phone this is phone and that's it